Remember when Google announced their new Imagine 4 image generation system? We were all so excited. Well, at least I was. But I could never figure out how to get to it. But that all changed. Today, I'll show you how and where to find their new Imagine 4 image generation system. Is it as good as they say? Is it as fast as they say? Spoiler alert. Yes. And the good news is we get to try it out for free. Let's go take a look. So Google just sent this announcement. Imagine 4 is now available in the Gemini API and Google AI Studio. In my opinion, Google AI Studio is kind of the best kept well-known secret for image generation. They bury a ton of stuff in there, often for free, but it's sort of either hard to find or not advertised. We're thrilled to bring Imagine 4, our best text to image model yet, to paid preview in the Gemini API and for limited free testing in Google AI Studio. That's right, free testing. So the second piece of news that was new to me, the Imagine 4 family, Imagine 4 and Imagine 4 Ultra. Imagine 4, this is our flagship text to image model designed to handle a wide range of image generation tasks. Imagine 4 Ultra, when you need your images to precisely follow instructions, Imagine 4 Ultra is the model for you. One is still better than the other if it's designed to produce outputs that are more highly aligned with your text prompts. I think that just means better, right? So we could pay for that through the API or just go into Google AI Studio, test it for free. So this is where they hit it. I was just in here the other day, uh, actually trying to see if I could find it, couldn't find anything. It's under Generate Media, and then it's under Imagine. You can select Imagine 4 or Imagine 4 Ultra, and they've got different pre-done prompts if you just want to experiment a little bit. Let's try the coffee shop. And I will say this thing is fast. I ran probably 10 or 12 different generations on this already, and every single one of them came back in about 10 seconds. That's pretty astonishing, especially for the level of detail for some of the prompts. The text looks good, and um, the detail on it is just really nice. So I've been playing around with this thing for a couple of days. Uh, it is limited time, free, and limited generations. I don't know what that limit is. I generated probably 10 different images bet between the two models. I will say I lost a bunch of my generations because over here in the settings menu, autosave somehow was turned off. Maybe I did that and don't remember. Maybe that happened when they updated Google Studio, but if you're playing around with images, do make sure the autosave is turned on if you want to save them or at least download them as you go. So I kind of wanted to run a bunch of side-by-side -side comparisons to see sort of what the difference was. So I did what any good test dummy would do. Well, mm. I asked ChatGPT for a series of prompts that I could try and run against the Imagine 4 and the Imagine 4 Ultra model. Just for kicks, I decided to run that same prompt against ChatGPT. Let's take a look at some of the examples of the prompts that I ran and the results that I got. So I will put the prompts that I used down in the comments below and I'll just read the highlights of the prompt. This prompt is a purple giraffe with roller skates is helping a robot bake cupcakes in a sunny kitchen. The kitchen is photorealistic, but the giraffe still has a drawn crayon-like texture. Okay, so looking at these, I feel like you can already tell the difference between the Imagine 4 Ultra and the Imagine 4. The detail, this sort of more hyper-realistic background compared to Imagine 4, which is still quite good. ChatGPT to me has a slightly warmer feel and a slightly more fully integrated feel. The giraffe is actually mixing cupcake batter. The next set of images, the prompt is an octopus wearing a newsboy cap running a tiny bookstore in the middle of a lush forest. Mushrooms and ferns grow between the bookshelves and a few forest animals are browsing the books politely. So here you can see the Imagine 4 Ultra model. 
I feel like the, the light is just luminous on this octopus and it's just really highlighted front and center. The Imagine 4 model generation is quite good. Some of the text is not quite right, um, but it's just a little bit flatter and maybe a little bit more cartoonish. ChatGPT is a, looks like a more hand illustrated generation, but it does have the details of the mushrooms and the ferns growing out of the bookshelves, just like the prompt asked for. And um, to me, this one's quite warm and inviting. Next, we have a Victorian tea party floating in zero gravity aboard a spaceship. The guests are wearing elaborate 1800 gowns with tiny rocket boosters on their shoulders. Through the spaceship windows, Earth is visible in the distance. And they definitely all captured that for sure. So for this one, the Imagine 4 Ultra, <laughs> I do, I love the rocket ship backpacks. Not exactly tiny rocket boosters, but I don't feel like any of them were tiny. Good details. This is Imagine 4. I'm actually also quite happy with this one. It feels like a Victorian tea party. Uh, ChatGPT, I think it's got way too many teacups, um, but the quality of the women in this portrait, I feel like I'm looking at an oil painting and it is quite beautiful. But these are all great, just very different styles. And finally, an AI imagining what it looks like. A glowing tangle of wires and dreams floating in a crystal bubble surrounded by floating Polaroids of human memories. So I feel like all three of these really knocked it out of the park. I do like the uh, humanoid feature inside the globe on Imagine 4 Ultra. I, I, I personally feel like that's quite charming. The Imagine 4, I think if I had seen this first, I would have thought, oh, that's perfect. It captured it exactly. The details are all still really good and really crisp. The background is quite nice on this. And ChatGPT, again, has a sort of more hand-drawn image and, and to me almost like a warmth and a coziness for this image. So that's our quick sort of side-by-side -side comparison. It did dawn on me after kind of sleeping on these images. I am not sure that ChatGPT isn't taking my previous prompts because it's got a memory of me. And the kind of images I tend to ask for are sort of illustrated and whimsical and more cartoonish. So I, I, don't, I don't know this for sure either way, but it almost feels like the images ChatGPT generated tend toward my style in previous prompts because I sent in the exact same prompts to all three models. And it was interesting to see how close the Imagine 4 and the Imagine 4 Ultra models were just in terms of what style they generated. They were very close to one another. And then ChatGPT had this sort of softer, completely different style. You know, depending on what you're looking for, one model might end up for whatever reason just working out better. Or again, it could be because of memory. I did ask ChatGPT if the memory of my prompts was feeding into the new images generated. And it said no, but looking over those again, I just really can't help but wonder if that isn't the case. Uh, to test this theory, I did try to generate an image in a temporary chat, but it tells me temporary chats cannot generate images. So I would be curious to hear from other people if they experience any of that same type of style generation. All right, that's it for today. Go play with the Imagine 4 model while you can, while it's free. No word on how long that's gonna last, so enjoy it while you can. Thanks for watching. See you next time.